Hello and welcome to a Chip Off The Old Block Toys. I'm Jeff and today we're going to unbox and build a Star Wars set. And not just any Star Wars set, it's the ATTE Walker. Uh, this is from the Clone Wars. Uh, this is basically set number 75337. It was released last year so I'm a little behind on it, but if you know me, Star Wars and City are my two favorite things. So. I, always, I try to buy there first. Now, if I have a little extra money, I will venture into other themes like the Corvette that I did recently, but typically Star Wars and City are my, my top two. So uh, this set here, it uh, has 1,082 uh, pieces. According to BrickLink, this has nine minifigures, but I only counted eight on the box. So I checked out BrickLink, and the problem is BrickLink is counting this droid right here, which is brick built, um, as a minifigure. Eh, that doesn't pass the muster for me as a minifigure, so I'm going to say 8. You can go with 9 if you like, but whatever. Okay, so this retails for $139.99. This is not the only version of this I own. In fact, I understand LEGO's put out a couple of these. So when I'm done with this and after the review, I will put the one that I have side by side with this one and compare and tell you which one I like better. Alright guys, if you would, hit the like button, subscribe, and let's go ahead and let's start the building.
Welcome back. This concludes the build of set number 75337, the ATTE Walker. This was released in 2022. And let's jump into the evaluation. For those who have not seen my channel before, what we do is we always evaluate on six things. Technically five, but the sixth one's the average of all of them. So we, we go by value, creativity, playability, ease of build, and the part out value. And then we average all of those to come up with the sixth, the final overall rating. So with value, this set retails for $139.99. It has 1,082 pieces and eight or nine minifigures, depending on your source. If you go to BrickLink, it says nine because they count the guy up here. These seven make eight and they count this guy. If you count my opinion, I say, and it's also the most important one, by the way, I do not count this as a minifigure. I'm sorry. It just doesn't pass muster. I don't believe that minifigures should be brick built. I don't believe it. So I only count eight. That comes out to 12.9 cents per piece. This is a licensed set, but I still feel it's a little high. So I'm gonna give it a value of nine out of 10. Now let's talk about creativity. Creativity, I do like this. I mean. The most important thing is they make it easy for you to, to pick it up by having this built-in little handle right here. Now, <coughs> I'm not sure if they're going to come out with the gunship dropship thing that they had in the past because they did have a set before where there was a big old uh, gunship with the back part kind of gutted out that this fit into and it could drop it. They had that before in the past, and I don't know if this is part of it or if it's just for the convenience of picking this thing up and moving it around, or if it's for both. I don't know. We'll have to see. I actually would like it if LEGO would come out with another drop ship. Anyway, I do also like the fact that instead of the older versions, they just had a radar dish, and I will show you that here in a minute. And this, they brick built these, uh, you know, kind of joints, and I like that a lot. And I also like the stickers on these. The stickers, you know, showing a little bit, a little bit of battle damage. And yes, that was on purpose. Um, and also, you know, the large gun on top. Well, that's just like it was in the movie. And also the front, the iconic, just flat front for the driver. So, you know, and the angles of it, it all looks good. I will give creativity an eight. And you ask, well, wait a minute, you just said a bunch of nice things. Why is it an eight? Well, the reason that it's an eight is I'm not a fan of these slightly smaller versions. And if you wanna know what I'm talking about, sorry for the noise, here is its cousin. And it is approximately about five, maybe six inches bigger, longer than the other. And also you can tell because this top right here is kind of like the hood or the roof, depending on what vehicle it is, Lego. It's basically four by six studs. This is six by eight studs, the slope up there. So it is slightly different. That's just the way Lego did it. And they've been doing that lately. If you've seen the leaked pictures of the Yavin 4 um, base, the Y-Wing is much smaller on that set than it is the older Y-Wings. And I have a couple of them. I can compare those ones. I do that build whenever that is, assuming that I get that set. But you know what I mean. So I don't like these smaller versions at all. Not a fan. So that's why it's an eight. Playability, I will give it a 10, or yeah, a 10. And that's because, well, you have the cannons, you have a large cannon, you got the legs, you've got the figures. So you got three battle droids versus a behemoth of a walker and five, uh, um, Clones, as well as the spider droid, of course, is on the side of the droids. So it's a good set, although I don't think that spider droid could take more than one hit from the walker, but whatever. Um, if the clone trooper shooting like stormtroopers, it'll be okay. Ease of build, I'll give it an eight. It wasn't overly difficult, but it wasn't overly easy, and so I'll give it an eight. Part out value is 10. And the reason the part out value is a 10 is this is actually, I like the colors, the, the dark red and the, the light gray, bluish gray, and, and you've got some, a little bit of dark bluish gray, 
but you, you got some panels here. You've got pieces that are pretty well universal, some plates in there, that you can build other things with it. So the part out value is a 10. And if you average all those out, it has an overall rating in my book of nine. Now I promised I would compare the two. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna move these minifigures out of the way. And what you have here is you've got the new one. Well, newer, 2022. And then you've got this guy here who was released in 2008. That is so hard to believe that that, that that was so long ago, 15 years ago. Anyways, this one only has 779 pieces and it's much bigger than this guy over here. So I think Lego's kind of, I hate to say it, but I think they're giving you some filler by giving you some smaller pieces on purpose to make it sound better because there's more pieces. But and actually this one has 779 and it's bigger and anyway. Um, this one was, is set 7675. It's simply called the ATT Walker, uh, and it retailed at the time for $89.99. Yes, I know inflation, so this one's $139 minutes smaller. Um, kind of reminds me of bags of beef jerky. I love beef jerky, if you know me. Beef jerky's like um, one of the basic food groups. You've seen the food pyramid, it's the bottom for me. Anyway, um, You've seen the bags of beef jerky. I remember back when they were four and a half ounces and they were about five bucks. And then, you know, they said, oh, well, it's going to be four ounces and it's still going to be five dollars. And then now they shrunk the bag down to um, like, I think it's 3.25 ounces and now it's like eight bucks. So, yeah, it, it, that's kind of what it reminds me of. The bag of beef jerky, you know, the older ones are, you know, bigger and cost less and then you know, smaller and it costs more. So, anyway, just my personal opinion. Um, like I said, you've got. Um, on these radar dishes. Um, these are just a dish and these are brick built. Um, the legs are slightly different and that's mainly because um, the size. These are bigger because this is bigger the smaller. This one has a gear around each one of the joints. This does not. just has a radar dish. So I actually wish they would have done the gear here because I think the gear adds a nice touch to make it look a little bit more armored and beefy. This one also had the same thing. It's got a little thing here for you to pick it up if you want to. Kind of like a little kitten that's mother. No, I'm just kidding. Um, the, the cannons are very similar, but yet slightly different. Um, the amount of cannons is the same. And there is no battle damage on these one stickers, which I kind of wish they would have done that. I, I like that look of having battle damage. Because, um, I mean, if these things have been in battle and if they're completely unscathed, that's a miracle. So anyway, I, I like I like them both. Um, if, if I had to choose what do I like more than the other, um, I'm gonna be honest here, and I'm actually gonna say I like the smaller one better. And the reason I like the smaller one better, the newer one, is because it doesn't have as many gaps. This one has gaps that I can see through it, and because it does, it doesn't look as uh, bulky and as strong as this walker should be. So I do like the angles better on this one, and it doesn't have this wide gap. It has a smaller gap, and the way they did it too, it's not as obvious. So anyway, I, I like this one better. Uh, but I hope you guys like my video, and if you do, like, subscribe, comment, and turn on all notifications. Now there are several ways to help the channel. I'm going to go through these really briefly because I do it every video. The first way is if you have money to donate and you want to, there's a link in the description to make a PayPal donation. I appreciate it. It goes towards the channel to buy more sets, to build the city, to um, fix up the shop. And oh, I forgot this little guy. This one comes with uh, the, the older one, and I like it. But anyway, I think he'd only take one shot too, just like the little spider droid. You want to help out the channel? There's a few other things you can do. You can head to Brink Link. I have a Brick Link. I have a store. A little over 800,000 pieces we ship within one business day. The advantage is you get pieces for your builds. I get money for the things that I need. So it's a win-win. Also, um, YouTube right now is pushing, or the algorithm is liking it when you guys watch another video of mine right after watching this one, like right after. No break in between. So if you have the time, please hit another video. At the end of this video, it'll suggest something to you. If you have the time, please watch it. Also, you can be my marketing department. You guys have more social media outreach than I do because there's many of you and only one of me. So if you would, share a link to this video or any other video on other social media platforms you're on. 
I don't care which one. Just get the word out there that's here. Help me out. I can't afford a marketing department. I don't have time to be one myself. So if you can, help me out. And uh, I would greatly appreciate that. All right, guys. Be good to each other. Stay safe out there. And I will catch you on the next one.